Let's uh, pick up on Steinhoff. The mm. stock has run hard. If you look at it over one year, it's up 98%. And if you look at it from its lows in March to December 2009, up 95%. So could this one be fully valued now, given the significant <coughs> run we've seen in, in the share price? Yeah, Boron, good evening. Yeah, it had such a run last year. Um, and also huge milestones, got jumped into the top 40. Um, certainly one of the index trackers had to buy it as well. Um, I actually don't think it's too overpriced. It's trading at a P of about eight, uh, not too demanding. Um, it's a little bit off its highs, uh, but, but some encouraging um, reports coming out. You know, the UK operations seem to be turning around. Uh, they mentioned they benefited from the whole buying down scenario. Um, I think if it wasn't for such a strong ran and some of the currencies, I think the results have been a lot better. You say it's not necessarily fully valued on a mm. non-demanding PE of eight. Does that mean that you would be accumulating it at these levels? Um, it's it's run hard. Um, I certainly think the easy money's been made. Easy money, absolutely, term. absolutely. Easy money's been made, but um, I think if you if you look the view for the rest, of the, I, I imagine it'll probably be higher by the end of the year. It just feels like they're doing the right thing, and um, you know, they had such a good res such a good earnings cycle coming through one of the worst recessions we've ever seen. So you certainly um, they're doing the right thing there. Again, the strong run creeping mm. through into every single result that we're seeing and companies are being hard hit. Again, unfavorable swings in currencies mm. being mentioned by Steinhoff. There's, should companies be hedging at this stage? Sure, it's a bit of a bugbear in mine. I, I, I'm on your side on that one. I think in this day and age with the financial instruments available to you, for the tools that are available in, in this global environment, uh, using currency swings as, uh, as an excuse for earnings, I think it's unacceptable, but that's my own personal view. Let's focus now on Murafi, that company mm. out with results, and they declared a, a headline loss of six cents per share. That was for the year ended December. Earlier, Eleni Jarkas caught up with the CEO, Steve Peary. We'll be crossing to him in just a moment. They'll be looking at the forward-looking statement. Murafi, in your opinion, ferrochrome, and ferrochrome is used to prevent steel from corrosion. Yeah, I mean, a first glance, out of all the, the, the numbers and all the, the, the earnings that came out today, it was such a busy day. That's the one that sort of disappointed me the most. Um, unchanged or down a couple of cents by the time it closed. Um, it just seemed to be looking for excuses. You know, they, they kept on trying to, I got the impression they were talking up their stock, talking about you know, ferrochrome levels running low, uh, you know, consumption in America at full capacity. But then coming out and saying something in, in South Africa that we're up to full capacity in South Africa. Obviously a completely different scenario from a year ago when the stock was down at 60 cents. But, but uh, a maiden dividend of but two, cents, of two so cents. So, that, so it is encouraging. They, uh, certainly going in the right direction. But uh, the, the stock has, I think, disappointed a lot of people over the last year. I mean, Dow, I think they shut down close on 80% of their, of their, sort of their, their smelters at one stage. Uh, having disappointed people, the, the share price has performed incredibly well. As you were saying earlier, over a year, mm. we are up 121%. So Phenomenal. again, are we looking fully valued on, on I Marathi? think it's fully valued. And I think if you look to the market today on, on quite a buoyant day, on quite good earnings and, a, and certainly a, a, a weakening dollar, the stock was down slightly as well.